How's it going and welcome to my Blu-ray update and today I got two brand new releases from the MVD Rewind Collection and uh, remember the good old days if you're old enough to remember that is when you would walk into a video store and you know pick out movies to rent on VHS with those Be Kind Rewind stickers on them or the labels of the video store and how I miss those days. I mean it's cool we're in the digital age where you can you know watch stuff on Netflix or whatever. It's great for the convenience and all but it definitely doesn't have that charm like the video stores did. Sure, some mom and pop video stores still exist, and thank goodness for that, but sadly not many. So anyway, the MVD Rewind Collection recaptures the good old days with their releases, with some of those hard-to-find cult classic movies brought back with solid picture and sound, bonus content, and of course those stickers on the artwork to give it that nostalgic feel. And uh, by the way, the stickers are part of the artwork, it's not put on separately. So first up, I got The Return of the Swamp Thing, released in 1989, and it's a science fiction comedy based on a DC Comics character of the same name, and it's a sequel to the 1982 film Swamp Thing. And the story is about this beautiful blonde played by Heather Locklear who visits her stepfather to discover the mystery surrounding her mother's death, and it turns out her stepfather wants to kill her to create his immortality serum. Until she comes across as the Swamp Thing, who will do whatever it takes to try to rescue her. So it's a cheesy good time, and by the way, my best wishes to Heather Locklear, man. I heard she's going through some issues. She's been on the news lately, so I wish her the best. I've always been a fan of hers. So this is one of those movies you just want to kick back and enjoy it for what it is. And you get plenty of features for this Blu-ray release, from commentary tracks to brand new interviews with the creators of the movie. So much stuff, and this was sourced from a brand new 2K transfer. So uh, picture quality wise this look good, very film like and it has the green intact. And it doesn't have that digitized look, colors and black lows were decent and the image was slightly soft but overall I was impressed how good the print was kept. It's a solid looking transfer and this features both the 5.1 track as well as the 2.0. So my rating for the picture is a 4 out of a 5 and a 4.5 for the audio tracks. And next up is Abominable, which was released in 2006. So yeah, not that long ago, but this movie definitely has that old school charm. And the story is about this man who returns to his cabin after an accident to try to live a peaceful life up until his neighbor is attacked by a Sasquatch, or most famously known as Bigfoot. So he basically tries to contact authorities to try to find Bigfoot, but sadly the cops think he's delusional and soon he takes matters into his own hands. I had a blast with this one. It features a solid cast with Matt McCoy, Haley Joe, Jeffrey Combs, Paul Gleason, I mean so many familiar faces in this. It's a fun throwback film with a decent amount of blood and gore. And this was also sourced from a brand new 2K transfer from the original camera negative and it was shot on 35mm and you get an all new cut of the film that features improved CGI effects which was approved by the director and editor. And of course this comes fully loaded with tons of features such as short films, deleted and extended scenes, outtakes and bloopers and much more. You also get the original version of the movie on the Blu-ray disc as a bonus content but that version is in DVD quality. So regarding the picture the colors look great and the black lows have a nice balance to it. Fine detail is visible at times during close up shots on the faces but overall it looks digitized and you don't see any grain. The image looks a bit soft so my rating for the picture quality is a 4 and a 4.5 for the sound. The audio mix was surprisingly great for this. But in regards to the print source, you get an in-depth introduction with the director and the writer of the film, Ryan Schifrin, in which uh, he talks about what efforts had to be made for this movie to be released on Blu-ray. I found it to be fascinating, and Ryan seems like a cool guy. He came across very down-to-earth. So there you have it, guys. Two solid releases from the MVD Rewind Collection. Definitely grab your copies. So that's my review. Thanks for checking it out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.